How's it going guys? Just a quick PSA for you all. First of all, you're still going to be getting your daily dose of Wi-Fi battles from me. That's not going to change. However, I did make a second channel. On this channel, I'll be covering all Nintendo games as they come out and similar N Nintendo-esque games as well. For example, we're currently covering Little Kitty Big City and Princess Peach Showtime. If you're interested in seeing me play other games apart from Pokemon, then be sure to go check out the new channel and join me on this new journey. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the video. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi Battle. Today we're about versus Erland in the UU tier. Let me know who you think is going to win based on the team you see on screen right now. And if you want to see more daily Pokemon Wi-Fi battles, then make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. With that being said, let's jump into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Erland. So they're going to lead off with Slow King, which is great for us. We lead off with our Hitmon top, so... If they have Psychic, they may go straight for a Psychic here, which would be great for me. So what I'm going to do is, because I am a Zoroark in disguise, I'm going to go for that Night Day straight away. I don't see any reason not to. There we go. Night Days comes through. Nice, solid 60% <laughs> to their team. Nicely done. They go for a Trick Room, however, and that is gonna, that's going to gonna slow things down. So it's a Trick Room team. I mean, it looks like a Trick Room team looking at it. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm expecting them to switch here. So I'm going to go for a U-turn real quick. Um, they might stay in and scold us to break our illusion and all that, but I think U-Turn might actually take them out, so I don't think they will do that. They withdraw the Slow King to get the Regenerator. Makes sense, makes sense. And they're going to go into what? Azumarill makes sense as well. I guess we could have Terra Poisoned and Sludge Bomb that on the switching, but I don't think it would have KO'd, especially if they're AV, so we don't know what set they are yet. So we're going to lose some health from the Life Orb, but we are going to go back. So we Zoroark them on the first turn, which is amazing. I love to Zoroark people. Uh, Azumarill though, um, oh god, we don't have anything for Azumarill. Um, Azumarill, 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 why don't I have anything for Azumarill? That is the real question. <laughs> so, I guess our best bet is going to be the Mamoswine, because we have got the Focus Sash, so we don't have to worry too much about it. We can stop them from setting up a Belly Drum as well by going for an Earthquake here, so I'm going to go for an Earthquake. They may go for a Belly Drum, they may do it, but I don't think they will. So they go for a play rough, which is interesting. It's going to take us down to our sash, which is amazing. That's got to be choice banded or something. But we hang on with a focus sash, able to go for an earthquake, which is going to do a lot of damage to the Azumarill. Not enough to get the KO, but it's enough to the point where we're weakening it. Um, so I'm going to go for an ice shard now just to get some extra chip damage off because they are no doubt locked in. They are locked in, it looks like. Um, so if we can get something in here, they go for a play rough again. That's going to take us out. So Mama Swine goes down. Azumarill is a big problem for my team. I need to get rid of it ASAP. Um, that is for sure. So, what do we do here? So, I'm leaning towards the Hitmonchop to get the Intimidate off. That'd be nice. Um, but if they are play rough locked in, I think we go Pyro here. I think Pyro is a good one because we're A, we're resistant to the play rough. We can definitely take it. And B, we can go for a nice and powerful Hyper Voice right now um, and potentially KO something on their team. Um, so, looking at their team, I would say they probably switch out into the Sinister. But I'm going to go for that Hyper Voice anyway, just to see if we can. So they go for a Play Rough. They're going to get as much damage off on the Pyro as possible. And which is great for us because it means we do get the KO on the Azumarill. And we're going to get that Throat Spray, which is great. And I'm pretty sure Trick Room wears off either this turn or the next. I haven't been counting, to be honest with you. <laughs> the Trick Room wears off. The Trick Room wears off. So we are golden. We are golden. Let's see what they go into next. So they go into Slow King, which is an interesting one. So what we could do is, because we're plus one special attack, we could Terra Blast Grass with Terra. Or we can risk the Dark Pulse. I mean, I don't think... I think Terra Blast Grass makes more sense. Um, so I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for the Terra Blast. If they do Terra themselves, which is like unlikely, I don't think they would Terra. Um, then we are golden. Because Terra Blast Grass should KO based on the Night Days damage that uh, Zoroark did with a Life Orb Night Days. So Terra Blast Grass is Stab. It's boosted by a plus one special attack. It should KO the uh, Sloking from here. There we go. Terra Blast comes through. We're going to fire off a massive laser beam. And that's going to definitely KO the Slow King. So Pyro is going off right now. What an absolute legend. I think their best options to use the Terra. So I'm wondering what they're going to Terra with. But Pyro putting in the work. That's always nice to see. In comes the Hydrapple. So this thing is a threat. That is for sure. I don't think I need Pyro for much else. Could use it to take on the Sinister later. Um, they have lost the Trick Rumor in Slow King, so we could switch out here. I'm leaning towards maybe him on top, go for an Ice Spin in the next turn type thing. Because they may Terra Steel, but I don't think they will. I think they're going to Terra Water personally. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Hitmontop. 
I think Hitmontop's a fine switch. We can definitely outspeed them the next turn and go for an Ice Spinner, which would be great. That'll hit everything on their team except from the Hooper and Bound for super effective damage. Um, so we'll go hit, hit him on top. Get the Intimidate off, which doesn't matter against Hydrapple, obviously. Um, they are going to go ahead and Eject Pack after the Intimidate. So that's interesting. So they're an Eject Pack Hydrapple. What are they going to get uh, sent into? Though? That's the real question. In comes Hooper, which is an interesting one. So Hooper greatly threatens my, my hit on top, that's for sure. Um, what do we switch into, though? If we assume they're going to predict the Tyranitar of the Zoroark switch and go for a Drain Punch, we should sack something off. Um, I may stay in and close combat. That's also an option. I think because we've got two Dark types, I don't think they'll go for a Psychic. I think they go for a Drain Punch here. So I'm going to go for a CC. We outspeed them anyway because they're a Trick Room team. And that does a lot of damage, which is amazing. It does lower our defenses, though, um, which is fine. As uh, they're going to go for another Trick Room. So there we go. So trick room, this, this Trick Room team is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. So we go for a Sucker Punch here. Just to get the KO on the Hooper. It should KO the Hooper. So we go for a Sucker Punch, which is great. That's going to take out the Hooper. Big throw out of the way. Very big throw out of the way. But the Trick Room is up and we need to be careful. So they can bring in Ursa Luna right now. We are low at defense and that can just take us out straight away. They do bring in the Ursa Luna, which is fine. Ursula Luna coming through for them right now. I am going to go for a Sucker Punch here just because I don't want them to... I don't want them to, I want to get as much damage off on the Ursula Luna as I can. So we go for a Sucker Punch, get a bit of damage off the Ursula Luna. They did go for an attacking move. They go for a Headlong Rush, which will take out Hitmon Top. I've kind of regretted doing that now. I feel like I should have sacked something off, like uh, maybe Zoroark or something. Because Hitmon Top hits everything on the team for super effective damage after the, when the Trick Room is gone. So they are burned, which is great. Which is great for them. Not great for us. So now what do we do? I haven't got any priority. I've got a Slow King, which is special defensive. A Tyranitar, which is physically defensive. No, it's not physically defensive. It's, it's an offensive one, Dragon Dance. Um, I guess I just let things go down. I don't know what to do, though. I really don't know what to do here. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. So I'm going to go into Titar because it is literally my only Pokemon that I can go into right now. We get the sand stream up, which is always nice, I guess. Um, I am gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to play around with this Ursa Luna. I think it does sweep our entire team though, so we may be screwed here. Let's go for a knockoff real quick. So they go for another headlong rush, which is fine. So now that they're minus two special defense, I'm leaning towards Slow King outspeeding this thing in Trick Room. That's what I'm leaning towards. Now that it's got lowered enough special defense, Slow King should be able to take it out of a Scold. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping and praying. So I am going to go Slow King, like so. Bring in the old Slow Queen, like so. And I'm really hoping that we have lower speed than them for the Trick Room. So I'm going to go for a Scold real quick. So they go for a Facade. They do outspeed us in the Trick Room, which is really unfortunate. Slow Queen does go down, but we have still got our key players here. Um, they are burned, and the Trick Room should wear off any turn now. Won't be this turn, though. Oh, it is this turn! We're golden. We are golden. Pyro, get in here. Pyro, get in here real quick. We're going to Nala. I think we did sack off the right Pokemon. I think Slow King and Titar didn't really win us the game. I think Pyro can win us the game, but that's about it. So I'm going to go for that Terra Blast real quick. They may switch out into Hydrapple. If they do, that's a good play. So they withdraw the Ursa Luna. They're probably going to go into the Hydrapple or the Sinister, one of the two. And they do go into the Hydrapple. They opt to go for the Hydrapple, which is fine. And we go for a Terra Blast real quick, which should do a bit of chip damage. Not nothing, really. It won't do out. No damage, which is fine. We get buffed by the Sandstorm, but so do they. Now, the question is, will they Terra here? If they Terra Water, I think they won't. I think we go for a Fire Blast regardless, because I don't know what they could Terra into here if they are going to Terra. So we Fire Blast. They don't Terra. We get some clean damage off, and they go for a Draco Meteor, which is great. They've lost their eject pack, so we know that we got free switch. We got a free switch in with their Zoroark pretty much here, and um, so that's great. So can Zoroark pull this back for us? It can take on the Sinister, no problem. It can finish off the Hydrapple with Sludge Bomb here, or Night Days, whichever. Um, but can we finish off the Ursa Luna after the damage the Ursa Luna has already taken? I don't know. I really don't know. So I'm going to go for a Night Daze just in case they Terra Steel. They go for a Night Daze. That's going to take out the Hydrapple, which is amazing. Hydrapple goes down. No Terra yet. Have they already Terraed? 
Like, why are they not terroring? I mean, I guess they're saving it, but the Soundstorm does subside, so less chip damage on the Zoroark at least. Sinister comes in, so that thing... That thing is a threat right there. So I want to go for a Night Daze, but I, they haven't terrored yet. So I really think they're going to terror here. So I kind of want to go for a Sludge Bomb. Expecting like a Terra Grass or a Terra Fairy or something like that. Um, but I also want to play it safe. Uh, do I, you know what? Screw it. I don't think we win anyway. So we may as well wait to make the ballsy play of going for a Sludge Bomb here and expecting the Terra. They don't Terra. We Sludge Bomb. Does half. We lose some HP. And then they go for a Trick Room again. I should have Night Days there. Night Days would have KO'd looking at the Sludge Bomb damage. Night Days would have definitely KO'd. So now I'm going to Night Days. Now I'm going to Night Days. But um, they go for a Memento. Oh, wow. Insult to injury. What an awesome team. That, that, that Sinister with the Memento is really cool. So the Sinister goes down. And that means Ursa Luna can come in with free reign to do whatever it wants. And that means we do, in fact, lose this game to Ursa Luna. Now, there is always the chance. Uh, no, there isn't a chance. There is no chance in hell. So, Ursa Luna comes in. They didn't need to Terra at all. Ursa Luna comes in. I should have Night Days against that Sinister. I really thought they would Terra, though, because they haven't Terraed yet. Let's go for a Night Days just in case. But no, they go for a Facade, which is going to take us out. And that's going to be game. So, GG Erlen. That was a fun one. I enjoyed that one. It was nice seeing a really cool Trick Room team like that. Definitely a GG. A nice close game as well. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to. Use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you do try the team out, let me know in the comment section down below. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.